Before we begin, the one thing you want to do before servicing your Envision One printer is you want to remove your build plate. That way, uh, two reasons. Obviously, you don't want to drop it because when you remove the material tray, you're exposing the glass. You don't want to drop this, break it. That's going to be an expensive repair. The other thing is, is when you remove your material tray, you, you're not going to realize it, but there's going to be a little drip of resin that's going to drop down or ruin your day because you're going to you're not going to see it. So just take this off and remove it carefully away. Now that your build plate is off, we can proceed. A couple of real general maintenance tips for the Envision One. You can see this area right here. This is a good spot that dust creeps in. We take the basement off and that's where we need to clean this area, get rid of the dust. When cleaning this glass, I found the best cleaner is actually optical lens cleaner that you can get at Target for cleaning your glasses and buying soft lens cleaner rags. And you can see it comes out like it comes out beautiful. This next tip, I use the same exact spray, the optical spray on the back of my material tray to remove any fingerprints. And this you just need a dry paper towel. But the nice thing about the optical lens cleaner is it leaves zero streaks. At some point with your Envision One, these holes that hold this together have your driving bolt. And you go to screw it in. And it seems really tight. What you're going to need to do is buy a tap. This is 0.7 metric. And you're going to retap the hole. By putting it in, and it's basically going to re-thread the hole to make it a nice smooth transition so we can, when you go to screw it in, it's going to go really, really nice. That way you can get a really good level. So you want to go in a couple times and then back it off. Go in a little bit more, then back it off. You do this to all four corners. You can also add a little bit of drop of oil to lubricate that screw. Now just put one little baby drop. That's it. And now the sex set screw is perfect. No resistance until I get to a certain point. This one's actually really nice. It doesn't need anything. It's perfect. 